I hate to break it to you, but the do this 10 step morning routine and you'll become a millionaire does not exist. There's no one size fits all that works for everyone. The only way to find the perfect morning routine for jumpstarting your day is by giving yourself permission to explore and see what helps you build momentum early on in the day. What works for Alex Hermosi, Gary V, or Jay Shetty may not work for you, and that is okay. But is it crucial to find and create a routine that works for you? Absolutely. Today, we're going to dive into this and a lot more, such as the six, the six benefits of having a morning routine, my proprietary four-step process for creating an effective morning routine, two rules to apply to make sure your routine sticks, what my personal routine looks like today, four questions for you to journal on, and a challenge so that you can take action immediately after this episode. Let's first highlight six benefits of having a morning routine. One, it will help you prepare for the day ahead. I'm all about the philosophy of you win the morning, you win the day. And by prioritizing yourself first thing in the morning, by checking off all the personal habits and routines that make you feel great, you will inevitably show up to the day as the best version of you. Number two, increase in productivity. Once you've ironed out a structure to your morning routine, you will wake up each morning without having to even think about what to do for the first one to two hours of your day because it will be scheduled for you in advance. Thus, increasing your productivity first thing in the morning, which is helping you maximize your time each day. Let's also acknowledge that you would eliminate decision fatigue of asking yourself when you're going to work out or when you're going to meditate because it will, be, it will become automatic in your morning. Number three, help you feel in control of your day. Think about how differently you feel when your day is scheduled out in advance versus when you wake up, have a bunch of shit to do, but have no idea when you're going to do what. Having a schedule creates inner peace because you know your time is aligned with your priorities. All you need to do is follow your schedule step-by-step step you are practically on autopilot mode. Hence, having a morning routine dialed in will help you feel like you're in control of your day. Number four, lower stress. I think you underestimate how much time you spend each day going back and forth on when to do what. Sometimes this creates stress because you get distracted, the to-do list piles up, and now you're scrambling trying to find a time to do X, Y, and Z. Having a morning routine that is dialed in allows there to be less stress because you're aware and clear on when you're doing what. Number five, encourage healthy habits. You know healthy habits are good for you, but yet you find yourself pushing them off, falling off track, or not finding the motivation to do them some days. When they're stacked first thing in the morning and there's no question of if or when you'll do them, they become automatic and something you do without even thinking about it. And number six, boost energy levels. There's a massive difference from waking up, getting ready, it's starting your work day within 30 minutes to waking up, prioritizing your well-being, and then jumping into the work. By the time you start, you've been up for at least 90 minutes and you feel like you are two espresso shots deep and all you're running on is literally the aftermath of endorphins. By the time you start, you will feel unstoppable. Unstoppable. I'm willing to bet all of you would welcome these benefits with open arms. And the good news is today we're going to make that your new reality. I want to share with you my proprietary framework for creating the most optimal morning routine that works for you. It is a simple four-step process, and I encourage you to go through this process with me on this episode. Number one, decide on a consistent wake-up time. It is important to note that the earlier you wake up does not magically mean the more likely you will be become, you'll become successful. It's all relative, right? So with that in mind, be realistic about the time you would like to wake up each day. Once you commit to it, I encourage you to follow through on it Monday through Friday. Stay consistent with it. Number two, identify habits and or routines that prioritize your well-being. What habits do you enjoy or want to do more of that better your physical wellness? 
What habits do you enjoy or want to do more of the better your mental wellness? I would encourage you to have at least one of each as part of your morning routine. Physical wellness, it could be yoga, lifting weights, running, cycling, etc. Mental wellness, it could be meditation, journaling, mindful walking, etc. The beauty of doing them first thing in the morning is you're filling up your cup first before you fill anyone else's. Number three, schedule in the habits and our routines. This is critical. You need to create a plan for when you're going to do these habits. When you create a routine for it, it starts to become second nature, which makes it easier for you to hold yourself accountable to doing them. You don't need to be doing them at the exact minute each minute of the day, but shoot to roughly be on time within a 10 minute window so you can have some consistency in your life. And lastly, number four, make adjustments as necessary. It is important to know that your morning routine will need constant tweaks and adjustments. Embrace these moments with open arms and recognize it will never be perfect because you eventually may want to add or take something away. Give yourself permission to try anything and everything until you find something that works for you. That's it. Four simple steps to creating your ideal morning routine. But I can hear it now. How do we make the morning routine stick? How do we make sure that we don't fall off track too often? According to James Clear, an expert in habits and decision making, it takes on average 66 days to make a new behavior automatic. What does this tell us? It can take some time to make this new month, this new morning routine of your stick, and that's okay. I want you to apply these two concepts to help encourage consistency with your new morning routine. Number one, remember your why each day. Think back to all the benefits I highlighted earlier, preparing you for the day ahead, increasing your productivity, lowering your stress, or insert any benefit that you find from having a locked-in morning routine. Remind yourself of the why for what you're doing when the alarm goes off and all you want to, and, and, and remind yourself of this, excuse me, when all you want to do is stay snuggled in bed. The why will be your motivation, your inspiration. That will add the fuel within you to fall through on getting up at that time. And number two, apply the two-day rule. I discovered this concept originally from Matt Diavella, a habit YouTuber, entrepreneur years ago, and I still use it to this day. The way the rule works is it never, it's never allowing yourself to miss more than two days in a row with any new habit. It allows you to take a day off when needed. We're humans and we need, to, we need our rest days or we just have those days where we just need to skip it completely for one reason or another. Using this rule will encourage you to never miss back-to-back -back days, hence encouraging consistency and holding you accountable. Keep this rule in your back pocket. It will help you pick back up where you left off, even when facing a day when shit hits the fan. If you're curious as to what my morning routine currently looks like, here it is. But before I share, let me tell you this. My morning routine has changed more times than I can count over the last seven to eight years. I actually changed it during the process of prepping for this episode. I've gone through it so many different, different routines during different seasons of my life, and the routines honestly reflect them. I don't follow this routine because of anyone else. I follow it because it works for me. So here it is. 6 a.m., I wake up. 6, 10 a.m., I meditate for 20 minutes. 6.25 a.m., I journal one full page. 6.35 a.m., I read for 30 minutes. 7.20 a.m., strength train or go for a run. I alternate every day between these two. 8.10, shower and hygiene routines. 8.20, breakfast and coffee. 8.30, begin working. I'm not sure if this sounds complex or extremely simple, but all I can say is it works for me. And please know that, it, that I'm not by the minute, on the minute, doing these exact things. The only thing I can guarantee is that wake up time at 6 a.m. The rest, this is all within a five to 10 minute window that at least having this ironed out in advance, it gives me structure to when I should be doing them. 
And I love it because it truly does mentally, physically, and spiritually charge me up for the day so that by the time I sit down at my desk at 8.30 a.m. to begin working, I am firing on all cylinders. Submitted questions. We had two questions submitted about today's topic. First one's from Drew. Tips if you are not a morning person and have trouble waking up. Drew, I get it. I have not always been a morning person. I have gotten myself to where I am today based on just pushing myself to become more of a morning person. And with time, I was able to do so. So I think the key to becoming a morning person is truthfully getting enough sleep. So what does that mean? It's likely going to bed earlier than you are used to. So what you could do is start tonight by going to sleep 30 minutes earlier than you normally do. And what does that mean? Try to get up 30 minutes earlier than you normally used to get up at. So this will slowly start helping you change your body to getting normalized to going to sleep earlier and waking up earlier. And once you get used to that, push it back again another 30 minutes until you feel like you're getting plenty of sleep and feel rested in the morning. So use the 30 minute incremental changes to help get you to a place where you're going to sleep at the right time and you are getting up at the right time that you want to be getting up at. Next one from Connor, how to start a routine sustainably. This is a good one. Take it super, super slow. If you're starting from scratch, maybe your focus for the next three days or week is just waking up consistently at the same time. Get that down, feel confident about it, feel like it's, it's something that's automatic to you. Boom, great. Now that you've got that down, add in that first new routine. Let's call it a 30 minute walk. Once that starts to become automatic, once again, add in the next thing. So as you can hear it in, in, from this explanation, slow and steady is the name of the game. We want th to make this sustainable. We don't want you to wake up tomorrow and just go full, thr full throttle into a 10-step morning routine. That will not last. Go slow into it. Add things in when you feel it is time to do so. It is your own pace. It is a marathon, not a sprint. Three morning routine quotes to fire you up. One, the first hour of the morning is the rudder of the day. Facts. Number two, there is too much life to be lived for you to hit the snooze button. Stop hitting that snooze button. Get your ass out of bed, please, and thank you. Number three, how you spend your morning can often tell you what kind of day you're going to have. This all goes back to my morning philosophy of you win the morning, you win the day. Four questions to journal on. One, how might I show up to the day differently if I had a morning routine that I was consistent with daily? So the action behind that, follow my four-step morning routine process and create your morning routine today. Number two, what habits make me feel my best self each day? This goes part of action one, but action for this is begin to prioritize them first thing in the morning rather than squeezing them in your day when you have the time for them. Don't think about creating the time for when you have it. Make it a priority in the, in the earlier part of your day. Number three, in a picture perfect world, what time would you wake up each day? Action. Once you've identified that time, commit to it for a full week and see what happens. And number four, what are my biggest roadblocks and or hurdles for following through on a consistent morning routine? Action. Create a solution for each of these roadblocks. Example of that could be if you're not getting enough sleep and that's an issue, then make sure you're getting your ass in bed at the proper time. So challenge for you as we close up this episode today, two options. One, if you've never had a morning routine in your life and this episode sold you on it, well, I'm fired up. That's amazing. I want you to map out your ideal morning routine and start putting it into action ASAP. You're going to need to make adjustments as you go, and that's okay. It's not going to be perfect right out the gate, but just test and try until you find something that is working for you and makes you feel great. Just trust me when I say this, that it will take time, but it will click so long as you stay consistent with finding the routine that works best for you. Slow and steady. 
sustainable progress. That's what we're here to do. Second challenge. If you're someone that has had a morning routine but feels it needs to be changed, this is your moment to do that. Quit pushing it off till later and take action on adding or taking away anything that you feel is necessary. Please go do that. What I have to offer you outside of this podcast, a few things. Check out my weekly newsletter, Stay on Track, where I will help you gain momentum in 60 seconds each Monday. You can sign up at bobbyhobert.com forward slash stay on track or hit the link in the bio. If you're looking to get help with your time management, check out my free four-day video course, Master Your Minute. That's at bobbyhobert.com forward slash M-Y-M video course. At this point, we've had over 1,200 students go through the course. It's been extremely helpful for a lot of people, and I think it will really help you not only iron out your morning routine, but also help you iron out uh, just how you're spending your time each day. So please check that out. Link is also in the bio. And lastly, if you're looking for direct one-on-one support, apply to my coaching program, Lost to Limitless. You can check that out at bobbyhobert.com forward slash coach. Link is in the bio. Um, this is a very intensive program, um, but I, I, I will encourage you to check it out if it is of interest. We are at the end of 2023. It is now the time to start prepping yourself for 2024. So if you are looking for that support, please go check it out today. Link is in the bio. To support this show, if you enjoyed it, you can do one of two things. Screenshot this episode on whatever platform you're listening in on. Post it to your IG story and tag me at Bob A. That's B-O, three B's, four A's and Y. Sharing it out helps grow the show tremendously. So please do that today. And secondly, you can rate the show on whatever platform you are currently listening in on. As of now, Spotify, we're at 128 reviews at a 4.9 rating. Love to see that. And on iTunes, we are at 95 reviews at a 4.8 rating. Also love to see that. The ratings reviews make a difference. So please make sure that you do so today if you have not done so already. Thank you for tuning in. It's the Beard and Man podcast. We'll see you soon.